I'm sorry, but if a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. Like, I'm just not going. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on. Put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius. You're, uh-uh. No, I'd rather not go on the date. I'm sorry. I already know the type of person you are. Like, I can tell by the car you drive what kind of person you're going to be. Wait, I'll show you another. And this is for the boys, too. If y'all drive these cars, you need to reevaluate yourself. Because, anyways, let me show you another car. The only person that should drive this is my 90-year-old grandpa. That's the only person. Okay, hold on. One more. I've got one more. Be for real. Also, this picture makes me laugh. But, like, why did you get that? And what are you driving, young lady? From the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello there, this is Just Sophia Third speaking. Before I get to today's topic, I need your help. I have a goal to get to 5,000 subscribers. Right now I'm at 2,300 subscribers and I need your help to get to that goal. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like, comment, and share this video, and I'll do my best to give you the words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Now let's get to today's topic, shall we? Yes, if you ever see this young girl complaining about the car the dude needs to drive, all I got to tell you is run fast, run, run far, and run as quickly as you can away from this person that's very selective about the car that you drive. If you have a Prius, if you have a Jeep, if you have a truck, be proud of the ride that you have because it gets you from point A to point B. If you'll be able to maintain it. You'll be able to do some cool stuff with your ride without that young lady in the beginning of the video. And for the young lady in the video, if you want a person that drives an exotic car, I have a question for you. Are you willing to help with the car note? Are you willing to help with the insurance? Are you willing to help maintain the car? Well, if you're not, then all I got to tell you is be grateful for someone being able to spend time with you, picking you up in a Prius, in a Jeep, in a truck, or any other type of vehicle that's out there. And then while we're at it, what type of car are you driving? When I see that car, I don't see a Lamborghini, I don't see a Corvette, I don't see a Benz or a Beamer or anything like that. It looks like the car that you're driving is a basic car. So what I'm here to say is, before you go on, on social media and give your preferences and your selections, be sure that it's realistic and be sure that you're not downgrading somebody else that has a basic ride to go from point A to point B. Believe me, they'll have that ride that goes from point A to point B. And if you have a video like that, they're not gonna put you in that ride. They just say, how the heck with this? The next thing you know, you will be single for a long time, all because of some surface preference about the car the person drives. You know what? I drive a sedan, and I'm glad that I drive a sedan that takes me from A to B, and I'm very happy that I take care of it, put it on an upkeep, and give it insurance and everything else. Because when you have a car like that, it's a huge responsibility. And if you're unaware of the responsibility that it takes to drive a car, then you probably be, wouldn't be able to even have that car. And that goes for the most expensive and most exotic cars. The more expensive and the more exotic the car is, the more expensive it's going to be to actually maintain it, to, for the more expensive it's going to be for a registration. And it's going to be very expensive for the insurance too, because you're dealing with something that is a high price. Yes, you may have this preference on certain dudes that drive certain fancy cars, but I'm here to tell you that if you want to keep your selection and you want to keep your preferences the way that they are, well, girl, you're going to be single for a long time. And there will be people out here that will see you on social media and they'll see you telling yourself what you want and what you don't want. And if they say see the videos of what you want and what you don't want, guess what? there's a great chance that they don't want you. And they just go on, go another way to someone that's more appreciative. This is Jesse Okay Third speaking, and until next time, you take care and have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, I have other videos right here that you can check out. And feel free to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, 
and you'll get some more words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Until next time, you take care. Remember to always have a great day. Bye.